wind turbines, good or evil? Let's find out in today's Marvels of Science. Holland, with its incredibly flat landscape, the fact that it's below sea level is the ideal place to make use of wind power. The Netherlands is a country famous for its windmills. Man has harnessed the power of wind for many, many centuries. The kinetic energy of the wind can be transferred usefully in many different ways. It's a pretty amazing old windmill that, isn't it? Eh? Fantastic. Of course, the first windmills were used to make cheese like um, Gouda or Gouda, is it? And Edam. And uh, that's how they got the holes in the cheese, actually, from the wind. Um, of course, they don't use them um, to make cheese. Nowadays, we've got more don't modern methods like dredging and things like that. And, uh, what? They don't make cheese. They don't use windmills to make cheese. Of course, no. they do. No, they use well, else are you going to make cheese? No, That's what they used to do drainage. in the old days. What? Drainage. drainage? They use it for drainage? That's what they used oh, look, to I've heard of people using windmills for other things like flowers and biscuits, but not drainage. That's ridiculous. I mean, who's in charge here? I'm a science presenter. I've got a degree in physics, for God's sake. I'm legally obliged to point out that Brian was in fact correct and that the windmills were used to drain water from the land back into the sea to prevent flooding. Not right? It's not even going round. No. I then moved on to somewhere like Germany probably, I think, and found some more windmills. The windmill you see behind me which is used to make salt or something in this old German salt producing device. Again, I should have researched this really. Quite impressive, isn't it? I, wonder, I don't understand what it does though. We'll read up on it when we get back, yeah? It's a windmill. Powers salt, makes salt. I don't understand. Makes salt. How do windmills make salt? I mean, I understand how they make cheese, but not salt. Just dub over. I'll look up on Wikipedia, just dub over. You know, I'll just move my lips, then we can dub over some proper information when we get back in. This Gradierwerk in Bad Rassenfalde in Germany is actually a windmill which pumps spring water, salty spring water, up from the ground to the top of this structure, which then trickles down the black hawthorn bushy things and the salt collects there. Genius! It's a salt maker! Yeah, just dub over that when we get back. They'll never know. Genius. My search for more windmills continued. Here's another old windmill on the island of Rügen in uh, the Baltic Sea in Germany. Magnificent. It's used to make uh, cattle feed, um, not cheese or anything like that, like I thought before. Uh, no, that's wrong. In more recent times, wind power has become fashionable once again. Of course, nowadays we use wind to make electricity, as I found out in lots of places I've been to visit. Here behind me we can see just two of the million wind turbines that you find in Germany. Just dub the number over afterwards because I forgot to look it up before we came. Yeah. yeah. In fact, to be honest, I didn't even know we were in Germany. I thought we were in uh, Austria. Australia. One of the two. Yeah? So I haven't really researched it. I'm just not prepared. I'm not very good at this, am I? Wind power is a renewable energy resource and has become an increasingly important source of energy to combat global warming. I cycled all the way here to Germany to see some wonderful wind turbines. Um, I cycled here to not add to global warming by not releasing any greenhouse gases apart from breathing, of course, which is necessary. Wind power's great advantage is that it releases very little carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. Are you the brakes, yeah? ah! <laughs> but how exactly do wind turbines generate electricity? Well. Making electricity is actually quite simple. All you need is a magnet and a wire. Simply move the wire near a magnetic field or move a magnet near a wire. It doesn't really matter. Either way, electricity is induced in the conductor. This is called electromagnetic induction. Very simply, the wind turbines turn the kinetic energy from the wind into electrical energy by using dynamos, which are basically magnets rotating in coils of wire. A bit like the dynamos work on my bike. Yes, they're just really big magnets rotating in massive coils of wire. 
It's how most of our electricity is generated. It's just that wind turbines do it without releasing lots of harmful gases into the atmosphere. So aren't wind turbines absolutely brilliant? They can be built onshore or they can be built offshore out to sea. But despite all the advantages, not everybody likes them. It's not until you get up really close to these things that you realise actually how huge they are. A bit like that bloke I had a fight with in that nightclub yesterday. Oh, yeah. yeah, in Berlin. He was, he was a lot bigger than I thought. I shouldn't have called him that, should I? Not really. Some people claim that the wind turbines are really noisy, so they don't want them building near their houses. People often say that these uh, wind turbines cause noise pollution, but I'm stood right next to one and I can't hear a thing. Bird. That bird's noisier than this wind turbine. Birds. If you want to get rid of something in the countryside, get rid of birds. They cause global warming with the poo. Yeah, and cows. Cows cause global warming too. Lots of it. Get rid of them. Not wind turbines. No. Not a sound. And I'm stood right underneath one. They also think they're a bit visually unappealing. To spoil the view, in other words. A lot of people also complain about visual pollution, but I think they look magnificent myself. If we just take the United Kingdom, it's estimated that between 10,000 to 100,000 birds are killed by wind turbines each year. However, bear in mind that 55 million birds are killed by domestic cats in the UK alone. Danger to wildlife? I don't think so. I've seen no dead birds around here. The one problem that wind turbines definitely have though is that they're unreliable. No wind, no electricity. Sometimes you can even have too much wind or just not enough. That's their only problem, they're not reliable. Wind turbines, aren't they magnificent? Saving the planet, possibly. Reducing greenhouse gas emissions around the world. That's all from Germany, back to somewhere else. By using more renewable energy resources like these wind turbines behind me here in Holland, perhaps we can avoid more global warming, more damage through it and rising sea levels. Let's hope we can pull together as a human race and make that happen. That's enough of that rubbish, okay? Is the bar up and all that hippie global warming? It's probably not even true. It's made up by a uh, terrorist or American or somebody made it up, not me. Join me next time for more marvels of science. Why perhaps using more? Brambles down there. It's dangerous. Carry on. If this is a film. Why using more global warming? No, that's what they were talking about. Ridiculous.